This little bit of stuff cost me 192 or 194, I can't remember. More than I went in there to spend for sure. What's up fam, welcome back to the channel. So we are headed to the Costco to do a little healthy shopping for the week weeks coming. Um, I'm not doing the juicing all day long starting next week. I will be eating, but I need to be eating healthier. So we're just going to see what we can find in the Costco's. I have somewhat some things in mind because I saw someone do a video on what helped them lose some weight. So I want to try the same as well. So whatever journey you're on, let me know down in the comments your struggles and what's been working for you because everybody's different what i'm doing might not work for you what you're doing might not work for me but we might be able to give tips to other people so i'll see you in a few minutes when we get to the costco and i don't go to costco's often because the costco's is like an hour away from me so this is like a special treat to be going to costco so of course i'm going to film it um and see what we can find on the shelves also from another channel i need to film to see do they have any shortages going on in there so yeah that's what's happening today so we finally made it to the costco's it took over an hour to get here because there had been an accident earlier and the guardrail was torn down so they had people over there fixing it and i mean i waited on that highway for at least 30 minutes just kind of stand still so not enjoying this trip right now so hopefully we can get a better view of what's going on in the store and that'll make my trip worthwhile just a brief intermission i found the cutest little popcorn shop down in hickory north carolina check this quick clip out and then we can get back to the costco's Yeah, we'll do that. This is popcorn. We got some candies over here, truffles. Oh, white chocolate truffles. They got kitty cat popcorn, s'mores, beef bars, Harry Potter, butter beer, chocolate cheesecake. Don't think I'm talking to myself. I'm, I'm recording this for my YouTube. So I'm going to put y'all on there. What's the name of this? I've not been here before. Taste Buds Popcorn. Taste Buds Popcorn. Okay, so Taste Buds Popcorn in Hickory downtown. Um, oh my gosh, they have banana pudding popcorn. And they do the fun size of the gear Thank you so much. Yeah. Almond Joy, Butterfinger, everything you can think of in having here. Chocolate cheesecake. They even have a sour watermelon as well. Let's see. Can I get you any free samples? Okay. I've been here for almost two years and not been here. Oh, really? We'll yeah. This is like my first time walking downtown, actually. Okay, awesome. Yeah. We're, we're, we're happy to have you over here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Capricorn. I mint cookies and cream. Oh, wow. You guys make this yourself? Uh, We get it in Belmont. They make it there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure do. We go up two or three times a week to get it. Awesome. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you guys. Come back soon. You want to try the mint cookies and cream? Mm hmm Oh, I taste the jalapeno. This is a good movie night one. If you like, if you like chocolate, man, you need to try this. The great belly. It's very good. Okay. Y'all gonna make me walk extra today. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the mint. really good. Hold on. Oh, thank you. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, I smell mm -hmm. it. You know, it, it smells, smells so like good. ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's Oreo. Okay. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have to get a fun size of that. Fun size of the mint? Mm hmm. Okay. 
You have to try this for dough next, man. Oh, wow. That was big. Anything else you want to try? Um, let's see. What would... What's the, my favorite? Um, I'm trying to think of a because I love taffy. I'm trying to think of taffy. a Ooh. flavor. That, I'm not a taffy person. Really? Like, like Shame on you. I like all the like, chocolate. Like, I'm waiting. Like I'm caramel, weak. caramel and butterscotch. Taffy. Like, like taffy. Taffy, like you know, like saltwater taffy. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like a vanilla or let me think. Mm -hmm. We have a banana pudding that's really good. No, I don't want to try that. Um, I don't want to try that. Banana pudding? Mm-mm. I don't want to try that. Let me try the watermelon one. Okay, sure. Because that's usually the flavor I get when I get taffy, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. This tastes just like watermelon. We also have a sour watermelon that tastes a lot like uh, Jolly Ranchers. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, that one over there. Just a little bit. Okay. I, I don't need mm -hmm. a little bit to get the taste. Oh my goodness. Back that up too. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. Would you would you have to some fun sauce? Mm hmm You know it kinda has a taste of you ever had a pop rock? Yeah. That's what this tastes like. The yeah. after flavor. It tastes like it's about to pop in your mouth. Yeah, it's pretty good. You're always like, turn it down. That's excellent. You guys want to try? I'm going to take this with me. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, we're not, we're not limiting samples. Although it's only been for two, two now. But we just... This parking lot is extremely crowded. Yeah. So because I am a snacker, I saw these right here, the Kirkland Signature brand protein bars, because I want to increase the protein. So I'm going to snack on these. There's 20 of them in here for $20.99, bringing them to $1.05 each. So I'm going to get the bananas here. They are $1.49 a pound. So I'm going to do a few smoothies. And I will be adding oats to the smoothies. And hopefully I can find the chia seeds. I hate when they sit this kind of stuff right next to the fruit. They have blueberries for $4.39. And that's 18 ounces. Two pounds of strawberries for $3.89. This is not necessarily for juicing, but I can use it for juicing, but I do like to have fruits in my salads. I'm gonna get some corn for $5.39. It's not that it has any nutritional value, but corn can be used as a cleanser to clean you out. Notice it goes in whole and comes out whole, but it brings a lot out with it too. So I love collard greens, so I'm gonna definitely incorporate collard greens in my diet and I haven't been able to find any anywhere, but Costco's has it for $1.99 a bag. So I'm going to get a couple of bags and I'm going to freeze them. Because this is a long drive to just be coming to grab one of something. So they have the red and the green grapes for $5.79. I'll make sure these aren't the cotton candy kind because I got the cotton candy kind the last time from out of Sam's Club. And no one in my house likes them. But these are not, so we're gonna get these. So I can make my own salads. I'm gonna grab this spring mix that has the mixture in them. It's 15 calories. I have blackberries here for $5.99. So I'm just gonna grab one. And y'all know I made me some blackberry cobbler, but because of the sugar and stuff that I put in them, this is a lot of money, y'all. $5 for... I think I'm not going to get these. This is, this is what it's come down to. I can't afford these. They're $5.99 for that little pack. These are $7.99 raspberries. They don't last long. I'm just... I can't afford it. This is the struggle to be able to afford to eat healthy because a lot of things are 
cheaper, even though they're still high, still cheaper, you get more meals out of them than you do with some of this stuff here. They don't have any green bell peppers. So I'm gonna get these for $6.49, the mixed peppers. So of course the oranges are pretty much $10. They're $9.99, the peaches are $9.99. These are the peaches. And you only get like three, six, nine for $9.99. I'm not getting this, I just wanna show you guys. So you get three of this fish here. It says farm raised, fresh whole, branzing for $43. This is a whole red snapper for $28 and you at least get three, five of them. Now I would love some king crab, but I can't afford them. $42.29. I don't even know why I'm looking at this. I just want to show you guys the prices are outrageous, $71. So their ground beef is $3.99. It's 88% lean, 12% fat. So this pack is 27, 26, 26, 27, 24. So they have the organic boneless skinless chicken breast, three in a pack for $5.99. This pack is $30, 37. So you see where the prices are going up in here. So I got this Parmesan cheese right here. This is six dollars and 79 cent 110 calories so of course i got a watermelon it's six dollars and 99 cent so we got eggs which i don't need any i just want to see how much it costs these organic $8.89. He was very rude, but um, these white ones are $4.99. No limits. Their milk was $2.67 and $2.97. So, non food, I'm getting Dawn. This is $11. Might as well say $12. $11.99. So, instead of getting the fresh ones, the, the frozen ones are $14.99 for the three berry blend, raspberry, blueberry, and blackberry. This is another good find for eating healthier avocado oil. It is $21.79 in here for 68 fluent ounces. These Kodiak powder cakes have a lot of protein. 15 grams of protein if you you know feel like you really do want that pancake and you can add oats to it or chia seed yeah. grape seed oil that's 10.89 in costco and this is 68 fluent ounces i'm also out of obey and i do want to eat more seafood so i want to flavor it up this is 9.99 their coconut oil is also good to use I already have coconut oil, so I won't be getting any, but theirs is $13.49. And then with the ghee, I do use ghee, but I'm not using theirs. I make my own. It's so simple. I have a video of that on Tommy Bites TV channel. Also out of cinnamon. And it is $4.99. So I'm not getting this, but I did notice that they had a black truffle hot sauce so they have this mayo with avocado and it has real ingredients in it for $9.70 and while it's not a big jar it's probably it's definitely better than the regular mayo I have incorporated my apple cider vinegar back into my diet and in my water, one cup in the morning and one cup at night, and make sure it has the mother in it. Don't just get the regular apple cider vinegar. And then I wanted to try this right here when I saute my foods. 
So I think I'm gonna get this for $9.99. And although I want to get this right here, it's keto friendly, they say. I'm not because it's $10.69 and I've already got a bunch of stuff in my cart now where I'm going over my budget, but I'd rather spend this now on healthier options than to be buying all this medication, right? So I'm not getting this, but they have a dried watermelon for $8.99. I've never seen this before in the store. Just what it looks like. I guess that's the rind also that's dried with it. Um, but it has 15 grams of sugar in it. So that's something I can try once I get my huge dehydrator up and going when my kitchen is done being renovated. I think I'm gonna try that. I will, but I'm not gonna buy that. So I'm very happy to see that they have chia seeds and they are $9.99 for a three pound bag. But I've heard so many people have had success with adding chia seeds to their smoothies or to their meals um, and to their oats. So I am definitely going to be doing that. And it's supposed to keep you fuller longer as well. And it has no sugars in it. As opposed to what I would have been buying. I do have canned strawberry um, jelly and grape as well. I canned it myself. But they have this one in here for $8.89. This is the Kirkland brand right here made with real strawberries and it only has nine grams of sugar in it i won't be getting this as i don't eat a lot of jelly anyway but that's just something for you guys to think about if you're you eat jelly that is a good way to go so i also got these right here because i like the snack so i got these rice crisp right here in the different flavors so I was gonna put some of this stuff back cause I'm just really nervous about how much it's gonna cost me. I don't have a budget per se, but I know that I didn't wanna spend a lot of money. So let me go over what I am getting. So I'm definitely getting these protein bars right here, the 20 count, the Old Bay. I wanna try this Japanese barbecue sauce right here. Might as well, because I'm not gonna be frying anything. I also found this hair, skin and nails, nature's bounty for $11 for this huge bottle. So I definitely need that because the older I get, the more it seems like my hair is just drying out and um, my child has eczema and it affects their hair growth in their skin. So I think this might hopefully help because nothing else seems to be helping. Um, then I got the chia seeds and I will be showing y'all videos of me making this stuff too in shorts. And then I'm gonna get these right here the rice crisp and I didn't show you these but I did get these because I do crave chocolate sometimes and so I didn't do the test sample that they had out there but this one lady she was like it's like eating an overcooked brownie I said like the edges she's like yeah and I was like okay well I'll try them they do have a little more sugar than I want to have in them but if I'm eating them sparingly it'll be okay just keep them out of my eyesight um I also am getting this mayo right here made with avocado oil and it has way less ingredients than the other mayo I've been getting. So I'm also getting the cinnamon. That way I can cook with that and put it in my drinks. And then I got some Dawn grapeseed oil so that I can cook with this right here instead of using vegetable oil. I got the Kodiak Powder Flake Flapjacks waffle mix because it has more protein in it as you can see then over here i got uh -oh, the two bags of collard greens dropping stuff blueberries and what's this grapes right here strawberries right here for my smoothies and for my oats and spring mix for my salads bananas for my smoothies corn just to have it because i love eating corn and they didn't have green bell peppers so i settled and got these right here that i'll saute down with some onions and whatnot 
and then I got this right here in case I wanted to make me some pasta um, but not with the regular pasta noodles so I also got this stuff and told you about it now because look at these lines they are extremely long and you know how to like to watch you in the line so this is what it is looking like So I want to say, my service here in Costco's today was absolutely excellent. Okay, for one, I got these brownie brittles, but I only got one, not knowing that they were about to get one free. So, of course, I ran back to get it because I didn't want them to run back and get it. And so I grabbed that and got that, but then when I noticed my watermelon wasn't good on one side and now the guy ran back to go and get me a different watermelon so when i say a plus service thank you costco's y'all have a good day and i look forward to doing these videos for you guys showing you what i'm eating so when i say i had a really i had really good service here today i really really did and i found out okay first of all this costco's is in mooresville north carolina it's about an hour drive, but the traffic was so bad, it, it took me over an hour to get to where I was going. And I just found out they are opening up another one on Indian Trail Road. I think that's in Charlotte. I know that they already have one in Charlotte. So if you're in North Carolina, they are opening up another Costco. And I hope their service is as good as I got today. He went and got me another watermelon and y'all i spent 192 dollars and four cents i will show you the receipt i got more than what i came in here for but like i said i drive an hour to get here so i wasn't going to waste the trip at all that's why i haven't been doing costco i cannot do random store walkthroughs when it comes to costco's because it's too far away so when i come i really have to be shopping for something so let me show you my receipt and then I'm going to end this video. But thank you guys for being here. I appreciate y'all so much um, for supporting the channel, supporting my journey. Um, I'm going to have more than weight loss stuff on this channel. You know, it's just going to be regular day stuff. But I wanted to like a diary just to, to see if I can actually do this. It's, it's very difficult at times to try to lose the weight but it is what it is we're gonna do what we can do when we can do it and i hope you guys on whatever journey you're on you're blessed in it and that you get through it as well so here is my receipt so, like i said um this is the address for the one that i'm at um i spent it came to 187 and with tax it was 485 so right here is where I paid $192. This is not what I wanted to spend in the store today. If it will help me spend less later down the road with medications, if I can get myself off of some, because I know that my doctor said if I lose the weight, he would take me off of some of my medication that I am on. So that is my goal and that is what I'm working towards. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video. I love you, but God loves you more. Smooches. So real quick, this is what the brownie brittles look like. Very thin. She was right. It tastes like you leave your brownie in the oven a little bit too long. And I'm an itch kind of girl anyway. So I love these. So I'm definitely not going to have these in my eyesight. Because it is 14 grams of sugar. I could probably only eat these once a week. Bye, y'all. 
So this is my Costco haul right here. Um, minus one thing. This little bit of stuff cost me 192 or 194 I can't remember. More than I went in there to spend for sure. I only wanted to spend maybe $150 at the most because I knew that getting fruits and vegetables is always more expensive than getting junk um, and the things that you really, really enjoy. So I did get things that I really enjoy. So these things can be added to here. I tried to get things that can go together so that I can get more bang for the buck because there's a lot of bucks and a little bit of food. Anyway, that is my haul. Just wanted to share that with you guys and I'll see you in the next video.